I was playing cards, sitting on his lap, not thinking a thing, and he began, uh, his arm was on next to the window sill, and his hand started kind of touching my bottom. And I thought for a minute, oh, that's an accident. Doesn't mean anything. You know, I just kind of moved a little bit and continued a little bit more, and then it was very obvious to me that he was rubbing my bottom. And I was um, scared, horrified. Things continued, maybe within a couple weeks to a month, it escalated a little bit more to where it was heavy, heavy petting, kissing, um, him touching me. And that continued for up to almost two years um, on, on a weekly basis after youth choir and, or youth functions at the church. John told me a couple of times early on um, that I shouldn't say anything because he could really get in trouble. And, um, you know, he, he was pretty adamant about that. He just said, you know, please don't say anything. I can get, I can get in a lot of trouble. I believed I was a terrible person and um, that this was my fault that I allowed it to happen, and not only allowed it to happen, but allowed it to happen for a long period of time. So I, I you know, and I really cared about this person. I believed that he, um, I did believe that he was a good man um, originally, and, you know, he was important to our group. He was important to me, so I was pretty devastated. My whole view of what it was to have a relationship changed and um, it was just very hard uh, to get over. I know there's people that are skeptical about this because this is so long after the fact, but you know, when I grew up, I grew up in a time where these things weren't talked about. They were hush, hush, and um, I didn't really feel comfortable going to people back then. I didn't feel like I would be believed. I told a few people and nothing really came of it. Um, so, you know, now we live in a time where we can speak up, and so that's so critical to me for other young females to know that if anything like this happens, they should be able to go and tell someone and someone listen and someone act.